Okay, as we deal with horizontal angles, there's uh, or horizontal curves, uh, excuse me, there's there's a few of them that I, uh, some relationships that I expect you to memorize and know. So what I'm going to do is just briefly go over those really quick so you can uh, see them and be familiar with them. So you can always look for that and look for ways to, you know, work out certain problems or whatever it may be. So the first thing is you look at a, uh, look at a horizontal curve here. You got certain points. You have your point of curvature and your point of tangency. And then you also have your uh, point of intersection. All right, this, what allows us then is then you have your curve going from your point of curvature all the way over to your point of tangency. What this allows now is you have certain angles that are created as you do something like this. The first thing we want to make sure you understand is what A is right here. Okay, A is, is your intersection angle. All right, the relationship that you have near here is that uh, if you're looking at it from the PC to the PT, this angle that's subtended right here is also equal to your intersection angle. So that's what we're looking at here. So that's your first one you want to be able to make sure you understand. All right, uh, so now the second one, again, you can see here that we have our, uh, our intersection angle, and then we have our uh, angle that's subtended by the whole curve. Uh, this angle is used if uh, when you're doing some uh, doing construction staking where you're trying to lay out this curve to be able to show it for uh, uh, anybody who's constructing the road or if you're trying to lay out stationing or do anything along those lines. What you have here now is from your PC and your PT, so your point of curvature and your point of tangency, is that you have a chord right here. All right, so this is considered to be your long chord because it's going from the PC to the PT. Write that out. All right, now the angle that we're looking for is the angle from your back tangent, from this one right here, this angle right here. So if you take your angle of intersection, or the angle that's subtended by the, uh, uh, by the whole curve right there, divide that by two, this is what this angle represents. So again, another one just for you to look at and be able to memorize and see where it's at. All right, this one here, uh, a little bit different. This is where you have a certain point on, on the curve. Okay, now what we have is we have two chords to that point, one from the PC to that point, and then all the way over to the, uh, the PT. I should probably write that right. PC right there. <clears throat> okay, so if I knew this point right here, and I'm trying to figure this angle right in here, all right, now what you have is between the point of interest and your point of tangency, you have an angle that is subtended right there. Well, this angle back over here, then, is just that angle, so B over 2 to be able to solve for that. Last one, then, same similar uh, situation we had before. You have a point of interest right here. Again, here's your PC, and here's your PT. <clears throat> okay, so if you want to now figure out what the, you know, this is what we just looked at before, you know, in that relation right there. Now let's look and see that, uh, say you're on this point right here, and you're able to look back at the PC, and you want to then calculate an angle, what it has to be to get over here to the PT as you're working your way on over. Well, now this is the angle that you're going to look at, and that you're going to want to turn and measure. <clears throat> so to be able to do that, if you know this angle, you know this angle, then you can come up with exactly what this one, uh, this one right here is. So if you look at this, in, in reality, what is C and B? Well, C plus B is what? This is your intersection angle, right? This is the whole angle that is subtended down there. All right, so isn't that just the same thing as I over 2? Just an interesting way to look at it, but uh, these are four angle theorems I want you to be able to memorize and understand. Uh, these won't be available. I won't give this to you. This will just be something you have to be able to memorize and, uh, and, and recall if it's on a quiz or on a test.